Yes, my friend died, and we had to go and watch all of these fucking child porn sites, like 49,000 of them for a whole year, and you couldn't turn your head or nothing. He was ghosting on all of the deep, we had to go through five layers of the deep web, and we, it took us a year, and we got 49,000 porn sites off of the deep web. I even put them in Facebook and went to Facebook prison. So anyways, he would have, he, he had several screens. So he would, he would have one where it, where he was actually looking at me right over the top of his screen, right where he could see me, but it would look like he was looking at what was going on with the children. And we heard and had, and because you can't turn your head and you have to pay for it. We spent thousands of dollars. Okay. To go into these rooms. <clears throat> going through the most horrible things, horrific things you could ever imagine, the screaming that they'll, it'll never leave my mind, ever. And I believe it was like $10,000 for an hour with the child. And so since we were ghosting, he was getting really close to getting the address of where it was located. And so he called me and he's like, Betty, we're getting really super close. We're getting really, really close. Like one more time and I will have the IP address. Okay. I spent a lot of time on the phone with this guy. This was a good man. And right across from me after he died, there's the Illuminati. I had a brand new phone and I was like, so the guy takes it back to the back and he comes out white as a ghost. And he's like, Betty, you have the CIA and the FBI on your phone. He goes, the only thing that saved you is you didn't have your location on. We didn't make money. We paid money. You have to pay to go to these sites. Sometimes $500 or bitcoins. <laughs> Just one question here. Did you, do, did you rape a child? No, I did not. No, I did not. What I tried to do... This is a long story, and it and it has to be told in a in in the chronological order in which it happens. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. First of all, the alleged victim lives a hundred lived a hundred and thirty miles from me, so I had no, absolutely no control. I saw him once every three months or so because my nephews and my nieces used to hang out with him. And we used to go hiking up in the Catskills. That's the only way I know. But he was 10 years old, nine or 10 when I met him. I taught him how to swim. I taught my nieces and my nephews how to swim. And that's the way we got to hang out with me, my nieces, my nephews, and this kid. It's a convoluted clusterfuck that on a scale of one to five is a, is a clusterfuck of the 11th magnitude. And... Are you, did you ever have to register as a sex offender? Yes, I did. You still do? Yeah, I still Me do. Me Stony Stone in my living room. He drove 1,600 miles from Rockford, Illinois, all the way to New Jersey to spend a couple of days with me. He's the most fantastic guy I ever met. Absolutely awesome. Liz, how do you, how do you know about your conviction for a year? Did he ever reach out to you and inquire what the hell is going on? Why are you in the truth or community? You talking about just that and the other thing? It's no, she never contacted me. She, she never oh. contacted me. Where were you that day that the incident happened? Did you not have an alibi? No, I was there, but I wasn't in an event. Yeah, I was. I was <laughs> several places with the kid. I was all over. It, it's it's not it's not a matter of where's my alibi. I wasn't there. I was there. How does it happen that this victim sends you birthday cards and calls you on her phone four or five times every month? How does that happen? Well, it happens very easily. It's called grooming, being very close to the victim. And uh, if you, you even claimed at the beginning of the stream, you used to go <laughs> swimming with him. So, I mean, that's very telling in itself. All I did was teach him how to swim. All I did was, hey, you, you, know, you can float. You're not, you don't have to... Jump in the water and float and go to the bottom. You can float. Well, I mean, so I mean, here I were walking. 
as a kid to teach him how to swim. So I mean, well, their, pa- their parents obviously you, trust you him. I was already. also I was also a scoutmaster for four and a half years. What does that mean? That that means that's fucking scary. Fuck with me, boy! I'll tear your fucking head off, one! And I'll mail it to your mother in a box! 